The first method that I'm going to show you is this. Ito yung traditional method of solving this problem. Um, you always start with a table, this one right here. Uh, the number of rows doon sa table would be yung number of people in the problem. And in this problem, you have Billy and Alex. So you have two people. So you have Alex and Billy. Now, it doesn't matter where you put kung ano yung letters or yung placement ng bawat isang tao. All of that matters is that information that you post dito sa same row ay nakamatch sa kung sino yung pinag-uusapan. Okay? Now, the next thing that we're going to figure out is this. Ito yung columns no? sa table na ito. The number of columns ay defined by the number of time periods na nandun sa problem. Ano yung mixing time period? You have your past, present, future. Ilan sa mga yun ang present? Now, in here, you have current age is. Now, is is a clue. Ibig sabihin, meron tayong present na time period. So, we have that. Una. And then, you have Billy's age in 14 years. So, Billy's age in 14 years. That would be in the future. And then, you have five times Alex's age two years ago. At two years ago, that is in the past. Tapos wala na. Kasi ito, now naman to. So, it's the same as yung present. So, that means you have three time periods in this problem. You have your present, which is your zero point. Your past, which is two years ago. And future, which is in 14 years. So, if I'm going to plot it here in the table, I always start with past and then present and then future. Just so visually you would see yung transition on time. Okay? Kasi yung past na uuna bago yung present. And then yung present na uuna bago yung future. So in here, dahil ang past ay 2 years ago, that is minus 2. Kasi ang age mo 2 years ago is always, kung ano yung age mo, iba minus mo yung 2. For example, if you are 25 years old, 2 years ago you were 23 years old. And you got that 23 by subtracting 2 from 25. So this is minus 2, this is in the past. Yung now, yung current age, walang kailangan gawin dyan, 0 point yan. Kasi kung ano yung present age mo, is the same thing as your Current age. So, kung 25 ka, 25 ka pa rin. So, walang magbabago doon. Sa future naman, in 14 years, that is going to be plus 14. Bakit plus? Kasi, kung again, 25 ka ngayon, in 14 years, you would be 39 years old. Kasi, gagawin mo lang 25 plus 14. Now that we have the time periods there sorted out, we can start plotting in the information. This part right here actually sh shares the same um, concept dun sa ating speed method, yung table technique when you have your options in the question, which I'm going to discuss later. Pero itong table na to, yung learning how to draw your table is very important sa ganitong klaseng tanong. So, if you are not yet confident sa pag-draw ng table, make sure that you practice. Alright, now next, we're going to plot yung, ano na, mga lalaman na natin dito sa table na ito. The rule in algebra is that kung ano yung nawawala, siya yung x. Okay? So, kung ano yung nawawala, siya yung x. Again, I always joke this sa mga students ko. That happens sa math, sa totoong buhay, not necessarily. So, don't go looking for your x's and, blaming, and then blaming me uh, sa sitwasyon na yun. So, again, in here, ano ba ang hinahanap? Ano yung x? In the question, it says, 
how old is Alex now? So, ang hinahanap ngayon is Alex now or yung current age ni Alex. So, Alex now, that would be Alex dito sa row. And then, sa column, yung zero point, which is yung present age niya. So, that would be your X. And the thing with this type of table is all you're going to do is to fill in yung mga ibang mga places in reference dun sa X na meron na tayo ngayon. So, babalikan natin yung mga sentence. Sa una, sabi, bilis current age is three is thrice or three times Alex's age. So, ibig sabihin yung age ni Billy ngayon, that is here, Billy, in the zero, this, right here, is three times daw nung age ni Alex. So, is, again, both are in the present. So, all you have to do to get Billy's age is multiply x by 3. So, this becomes 3x. Okay? Again, bakit? Kasi si Billy, yung current age niya ay thrice or equal to 3 times nung kay Alex. So, si Billy ay 3x. Now, you have Billy's age in 14 years. So, ano ang age ni Billy in 14 years? Dahil 3x years old si Billy, in 14 years, to put yung kanyang age dito, all you have to do is 3x plus 14. Okay? That is that. Ito yung nakalagay dito. And then you have is, which means equals. That is equal to 5 times Alex's age 2 years ago. So, ang multiply mo by 5 is Alex's age 2 years ago. Ano yun? Now, this is x. Para ilipat ko siya dito, ang gagawin ko is x minus 2. Okay? So, yan yung magiging sitwasyon. And ang sabi, ito daw, which is Willis age in 14 years, that is this, which is 3x plus 14, is, so equal daw siya sa 5 times no Alex's age 2 years ago, which is this. So, ang gagawin natin, 5 times, and then you have x minus 2. And then, that becomes your equation. Ang hinahanap natin, ano yung x if this is the current situation. Okay? Yan yung alam natin about their ages. So, all you have to do is to solve using yung rules ng equalities. So, in here, didistribute lang natin yung 5. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times negative 2 is minus 10. Or negative 10. Equals 3x plus 14. And then, ililipat natin yung 3x sa kabilang side. Okay, para maiwan yung mga x sa isang side. Kasi laging ganun, ang mga x dapat iniiwan sa kabilang side. So, all you have to do is 5x minus 3x, which is going to give you 2x. And then, here you have plus 14. Tapos, ililipat naman natin yung minus 10 or negative 10 sa kabilang side. Magpapalit ng sign yan, magiging plus. So, you have 14 plus 10. So, here you have... 2x is equal to 24. And to get yung x natin, all you have to do is yung 24 is equal to 2x. Ay, i-divide natin pareho sa 2. Maka-cancel ito. So, 24 divided by 2 is 12. So, the answer is 12. Ang age ni Alex is 12. And if you want to check that, you can just fill in yung x dyan. X dito and check kung tama yung lalabas na sagot. That is if you use the traditional method, if you want to use algebra to solve this type of problem. Now, this time, we're going to use in table technique. Ang difference niyan is that if there are options like these, it'll be easier, I think, for you to use the table technique. Now, itong table technique is something I discussed in one of my YouTube videos. If you haven't seen that yet, the link will be uh, uh, posted dito sa, uh, kasama dito sa video na ito. Um, itong table technique, again, kapag may options ka, you can use this. And it always starts off as the same thing as kanina. You have your table. All you have to do is to draw it. So, again, you have Alex and Billy. You have yung kanilang now, and then yung past, which is minus 2, and then yung future, which is plus 14. So, again, magkahamuka sila. And if you know how to draw the table, that would be a good uh, starting point for this technique. Next thing that you're going to do is to just fill in the information sa question. So, sabi, Billy's current age is thrice Alex's age. So, ang ibig sabihin nun, yung age ni Billy ngayon, which is this, ay equal daw sa 3 times nito. So, this, Alex's age, kapag nilipat mo siya sa age ni Billy, that would be times 3. So, ito, Alex, times 3, lalabas yung age ni Billy. So, if you see, parang bilog, 
ano lang, bilog-bilog lang yung technique na ito. So, all you have to do is to fill in yung information na nandito sa question. I-indicate mo lang kung anong gagawin mo. So, again, yung age ni Alex times 3, lalabas yung age ni Billy. Now, if Billy's age in 14 years, that is this. Age daw ni Billy in 14 years is 5 times Alex's age 2 years ago, which is going to be this, Alex, 2 years ago. Ito daw, okay, itong Billy's age in 14 years is equal to times 5 nito. So, again, ito, to that, all you have to do is to multiply it by 5 to get to that box right there. Ang hinahanap is Alex's age now. Now, the beauty of this technique is instead of using equalities, instead of using a formula, all you have to do is to use trial and error. Okay? Now, uh, anong ibig sabihin nun? I will just uh, show you kung ano yung mangyayari if you put in a uh, wrong answer. Okay? So, for example, let's try to use 18. If you put 18 here, 18 times 3, Pupunoyin lang natin yung information sa mga boxes and we'll see if tama siya. So, 18 times 3, that is going to give you 54. And, uh, which means, kung 54 years old si Billy ngayon, in 14 years, idadagdag lang natin yung 14, magiging 68 years old siya. And kung 18 years old si Alex ngayon, 2 years ago, 16 siya. Now, 16 times 5, ang 16 times 5 is actually 80. Hindi siya... 68, which means mali itong uh, table natin na to. Hindi, hindi tama lahat ng information. Kaya hindi pwedeng maging 18 ng sagot. Okay? Now, dahil na-eliminate na natin yung 18, we can try a different number. And uh, when you're using this uh, actual exam, that can be really helpful. Lalo na kung mabilis ka naman mag-multiply at mag-add, mag-subtract ng mga basic na numbers. Now, let's try yung 12. Yung 12, alam na natin is the correct answer kasi na-solve na natin kanina. But I'll just show you uh, na totoong magiging tama siya if we fill it in dito. So, let's put 12 here. So, 12 times 3 is going to give you 36. 36 plus 14 is going to give you 50. And if you notice, 12 minus 2 is 10. And 10 times 5 is 50. So, ibig sabihin nun, dahil tama na ito, Tama rin yung sagot na letter B or 12. That is the beauty ng table technique. And uh, the more that you use this, the faster you'll get. And I really hope that you use it in your upcoming exam.